Welcome back guys this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in today's video we are going to go over the command chown. So chown is used to change the ownership of a file and what do you mean by the ownership? Well every file in Linux has a user and a group associated with it. Now we went in detail about why groups are necessary but in short if you have a classroom of 100 students instead of giving permission to each one of these students you group them inside a student group and you assign permission to the group which applies to all the 100 students. So that is why groups are necessary. So in this case we will see this file that I just downloaded and it's an RPM package which is owned by the username Vishu and the group name Vishu. Which means that Vishu has read and write access to this file. Tomorrow we will look into what this means. But right now just understand that this means read write execute for the user first three characters. The next three read write execute for the group. And the last one is uh, read write execute for others, for users that are not part of this group. So in this case, this is read and write for the user, read and write for the group and read for others. So if I create a uh, file, so let's create a file named Jackie. And if I do an ls or ll, you will see it has the same permissions. Let's write hello world into Jackie and then cat Jackie. So if I do a cat Jackie, you will see hello world in there. Now I want to check the permission. So what I will do is copy this file into slash temp because I am going to try to use this from another user, which is the cloud user. So Let's switch user to cloud user. So I am now cloud user and what I will try to do is read this file which is in temp named Jackie. So if I do this I will see hello world because I am not part of Vishu user or Vishu group but I am part of others which has the read access. But if I try to do echo hello and put that inside Jackie temp Jackie. Now here it is going to give me permission denied. And the reason it is giving me that is because this one, this file temp Jackie, if I do an LL on this file, it is owned by Vishu and it, the group is also Vishu. So there is no permission for cloud user except the read one which is at the end for everyone else. So I cannot write into this. But what I can do is clear the screen exit and I'm back to Vishu. So I own this file. So I can do chown and then I have to put the username and group. So I can do Vishu and in the groups I can put cloud underscore user and I will put temp Jackie. So because I am the owner of this file, I am able to change permissions or change user and group on this file. So if I run this, it is saying that permission not uh, permitted. So let me do a sudo. By adding sudo, I was able to change the permission. Let's do an LL on temp Jackie. And now you will see the user is Vishu and the group is cloud user, which means that the cloud user now has read and write permissions. Remember this permission group is uh, split into three characters. So the first three are, the four, are for the user. So read write for the user, read write for the group and read for everyone else. Right now the group is cloud user, which has read write. So I will switch user to cloud user again and we will try to edit this file now. So if I go back up, you will see echo hello to temp Jackie. And now I'm able to write it. Earlier, 
I got uh, permission denied and that was because we did not have right access to the file. Now we change the group to cloud user. If I do an ID, you will see that cloud user is also part of the cloud user group and that is why we are able to change this. And one quick thing that I wanted to show you is I can do a ch own and if I want to keep the user as Vishu, I can leave this blank. So I can leave the leave it blank and just put the cloud user group and it is still going to take it because it assumes that when it is blank, it is going to be cloud user. And the same goes for this case. If I do a cloud underscore user, then I'm changing the owner to cloud underscore user and I'm not specifying the group. When I don't specify the group, it keeps the group as it is, which is cloud user. So if I do this now and do an LL on temp Jackie, you will see that it is now owned by cloud user and also the group is cloud user. So a cloud user can do basically anything on it. And if I do an echo hello, into I will not be able to run this because I don't have permissions anymore. So this is how you change permissions and group in a Linux environment. Remember this colon is very important. The sequence is user colon group. And if you don't want to change the user, you can leave it blank. If you don't want to change the group, you can leave it blank too. So I think that is it for this video guys. In the next video, I will do a presentation on what this stands for and the breakdown of these permissions. So I will see you guys in the next video.